Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to look up Taylor County, Texas arrest records. First, understand that arrest records are public information in Texas. They can be accessed by anyone, but there are steps to follow. Start by visiting the Taylor County Sheriff's Office website. This is often the primary source for arrest records. Look for a section labeled Public Records or Records Request. If you prefer an in-person visit, head to the Taylor County Sheriff's Office at 450 Pekin Street, Abilene, Texas. Office hours are typically Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You may need to fill out a request form. This form will ask for details like the name of the person arrested and the date of the arrest. Be as specific as possible to expedite the process. There might be a small fee for processing your request. Fees can vary, so it's a good idea to call ahead and ask. The phone number for the Taylor County Sheriff's Office is 325-674-1300. For online searches, you can also use the Texas Department of Public Safety's Crime Records Service. This website offers a criminal history name search feature. You will need to create an account and pay a fee for each search. Fees are around $3 per search. Another option is to check the Taylor County Jail's online inmate search tool. This can provide real-time information on current inmates. Remember, arrest records include details like the date of arrest, charges, and sometimes a mugshot. However, they do not indicate guilt or innocence. For more comprehensive searches, you might consider third-party public records websites. These sites often compile information from various sources. Be cautious, as some third-party sites may charge higher fees. Always verify the site's credibility before making a payment. Lastly, if you need certified copies of arrest records, you may have to visit the Taylor County Clerk's Office. This office is located at 300 Oak Street, Abilene, Texas. Certified copies may be required for legal proceedings or employment background checks. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.